Hey everybody, welcome to Dad Can Cook, and I'm Scott the Groom and Grippo. Okay, and it's Sunday morning, right? And uh, I'm gonna make a turkey breast. I was at Winn Dixie, that's a local uh, uh, supermarket here in Florida, and uh, Winn Dixie had these chicken br turkey breasts uh, on sale for $1.28 a pound. Okay, so I got a couple of them, I threw them in my chest freezer, and I got one here that I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna roast it up, and we're gonna slice it, and we're gonna make sandwiches out of it. Okay? So let me show it to you. Here it is right here. Okay? So, we're gonna, we're gonna start out by taking it out of the bag, and I'm gonna take it off the bone, and I'm gonna show you what we do, what I do, okay? We got a nice clean sink, okay? Stuff to make a gravy, which I'm not gonna use. But what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna give it a rinse. Okay, and what's nice about this turkey breast is sometimes when they go on sale, they sell them to you with the wings on to add the extra weight, which, you know, we don't like, so. Okay, so now I have the turkey breast here. You see this here? It's the breast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the bone, okay? So I'm going to feel along here, I know where it is, right? So I'm going to cut here, like so. I'm going to cut along the bone. Let me get a better... Alright, I'm going to cut it along the bone, right there. And I'm going to cut against the bone and away from the meat, and I'm going to pull it away. Okay, I'm trying to show you. We're going to come in here. I'm coming along the bone. Right along the bone, taking this lobe right off. Okay, coming right along the bone. Okay, and come in here. There's a little piece of bone there that we want to get around. And there's the joint from where the wing was attached, right here. So we want to go kind of go around that, and disconnect it. Like so, go underneath. And there we go. We have one lobe. This is where the wing was, where they cut it out. Okay. So we have one lobe there. I'm gonna stick it in my pan for now. And I'm gonna, see, I came pretty clean. There's not hardly anything on that on this. I got it pretty clean. So I'm gonna do this to this side of the bone. Okay. See this here? 
Okay, there's a little piece of bone there. We come inside that and down. Okay. See? I'm trying to show you so I can keep it on the camera, otherwise, I go right through this. I'm going to cut this down here. Okay. Like so. Around that bone again. that bone. Okay, and there I go. I have another boneless lobe. Okay, I'm going to put that in here for now. Now with this here, okay, with this, I'm going to cut that fat off. I'm going to take my utility knife here and I'm going to cut it down. Okay, I'm going to split it like so. That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. It shouldn't have. And what I'm going to do with this here, let me show you. Let me put my pan over here and let me move this. Let me just wash my hands off. Okay, come over here so you can see this here. So I got that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right on top of it so the bottom of the lobe doesn't burn or dry out. Okay, I'm going to get all of this stuff in the pan. Okay, now I'm going to clean my board really well. It's probably going to go in the dishwasher because you always got to do that with your poultry, right? But make sure you clean it up well. Okay, let me rinse my hands off, wash my hands off here. Now I'm going to season it up with some onion powder. garlic powder paprika okay and just a little bit of sea salt on that okay now I'm going to put a little water in it about a half inch of water in the bottom of this pan. Okay, a little bit less than a half an inch. Right, and then I have some foil that I'm gonna tent it with. And I'm going to stick it in a 400 degree oven for about 35 minutes and we're going to check it. Then I will take the top off of it and roast the rest of it on, uncovered so the skin gets a little crisp and a little brown. Maybe even boil it a little bit, okay? So it's going in the oven, my preheated oven. Alrighty then, and my timer is going off, so I'm going to pull it out of the oven, and we're going to check it out. Put it over here. See what we got, it smells good. Let me turn that timer off. Okay.
Okay, look at that. Okay. It's looking good. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put it back in the oven, uncovered, for another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put it on broil and brown the top. Then I'm going to let it sit. But we're going to do that right now. It's going back in the oven at 400. It's heavy. Ah. Okay, there's the timer going off again. Okay, and my wife. Okay, I'll turn my lights up. I'm going to pull it out, we're going to look at it. Looking good. Now it's going to go into the broiler for about four minutes. I'm going to switch it to broiler. Squat that up. Put this in. Let me take a little piece off of this. Try it. Yum. Good. Mmm. Okay, in the boiler. Oh, boy. Right, it's coming out of the oven right now. I'm under the boiler. Having some nice coffee. Right, look at that. Nice, crispy. Okay, this is going to cool down. I'm going to slice it up and make nice sandwiches out of it, make a dinner out of it, make a ton of stuff out of this. And uh, I forget how much it cost me, but it cost less than $10. And I got two nice lobes of turkey breast. And you can't get a pound of real turkey sliced in a store for less than $8, $9. So this is a great deal. And look, it's 8.35, and uh, it's Sunday, I'm all set, it's all done, I can go do whatever I want to do, go to church, go to the beach, do whatever I want to do, this is done and ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this.